Hello guys and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video I will show you how you could fix the errors of your camera. So if you are unable to use your camera whenever you click, you try to open your camera, you see some error codes, no camera are attached or any other codes. First of all, you want to go and to check if your settings are allowing the camera to be used. So we will just open the settings. You can always open the settings by clicking on the Windows sign and typing settings. And in the search bar, we'll type camera and privacy settings. We'll click on it to open. And here you want to make sure that the application which you are trying to use to open the camera is allowed to use it. For example, for my camera, I'm allowing Skype to use it. So here it's on. But for the Xbox, I have disabled it. So for example, if you want to use it with your Skype and you have it set to off, you want to click on on. And then you want to restart your computer and to try again. If it's still not working, make sure that allow desktop application to access your camera is set to on. If it's not the case, set it to on, restart your computer and try again. If this still didn't solve the problem, you want again to try allow application to access camera, set it to on and try again. If this still didn't work, you want to click on camera access for this device is. If you have it on off, you want to click change and set it to on. If after all of this, you're still unable to access your camera, I will invite you to click on the win Windows sign and type device manager. We'll open the device manager to make sure that the drivers of our camera is installed. So here, as I can see, I have imaging devices However, there is no camera. I don't have my integrated camera. What we will do, we'll just connect to our internet. We will go to our browser, click to open it. And here we will type our computer brand and the series of the computer. For example, I have a Lenovo T460 as dr camera drivers download. If you have a, an HP or whatever computer, just type the name the series of the computer, if it's T400, 1000, whatever, and type camera drivers download and press enter. So what you want to make sure to open, usually the websites of the manufacturer of your computer has, for example, www.support.thecompanyname.com. In my case here, I see integrated camera driver for Windows 10. I'll just click on it. In some websites, you might open the website and then enter the serial of your computer and it will provide you with the list of the available drivers. We'll just wait until the website is refreshed. And here I have the integrated camera driver. So in some cases, you might just see this bar where you have to enter the serial number of your computer and it should show you all the available drivers. In this case, we want to download this .exe file, which is the executable file. We'll just click on download, save file. Now that it has been saved, we'll just click and, and double, click, double click on it. Windows will ask you if you really want to allow this application to make changes to your device, just go ahead and click yes. Next step, we'll click next. I accept the agreement. You can go ahead and read the agreement fully before clicking next. And then I will click or select install. In most cases, this is the process to follow for installing drivers because they are kind of standard. We'll click installed. And now we will click next. Now that it has been installed, I see that it has been successfully set. Now what I will do, I will just click finish. I will close everything. And then I will go ahead, restart my computer and see if the camera will work. And in 99% of the cases, it should work. If after all of this still didn't work for you, make sure to check on your keyboard because in most of the time you will have a button on the keyboard which allows which allows you to, to enable or disable the camera. I'll just show you on the on-screen keyboard. So usually you want to look on F uh, on, on F section you will find F1, F2, F3, etc. You want to check the one which has a logo of a camera and make sure to press it, to turn it on or turn it off and try again, because this also might be the reason. If after all of this trying, it didn't work, then you might want to contact the manufacturer of your computer to, so, to provide you with further support. In our case, if you are still in need of help or assistance, write us a comment, send us an email and we'll do our best to help you. 
If you'd like to encourage us, you can always subscribe, share, and also you can press like if you find this video useful. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.